today we are going to learn the last chapter of project management in this chapter there are certain aspects related to the environment safety and how a project management as a overall concept can become a holistic practice for the project manager when we talk about the importance of environment there are various factors which are associated with so moving with this first is safety when the project manager is working for completing the project on the given date he is not only supposed to think for the deadline for completing the project work as per the time frame but also the safety of the people who are working in that particular premises those who are basically coming from different organizations as a workforce they all need to be taken care of and that is the reason why safety has to be implemented safety has to be followed by the project manager as well sometimes it is said that safety department or the safety people will be working on the current running of the organization like for example the organization is running uh, its operations for example manufacturing maintenance testing and marketing and selling activity and after sales service of the product during all these activities the safety is important but also for the project the safety is again very much important okay so these are the various important points that we are going to learn in this chapter safety at work which is giving you the benefit just like reducing the time wasted if there is any accident happen for example if any accident happen at the site there are chances that people will try to help the victim try to remove the raw material which is being damaged during the accident and these all activities will end up eating the valuable time of that particular project and that is the reason why we should be following safety and minimizing the losses or whatever the problems that arise because of the accident so first point as it is said the safety at a work benefits not only to the workforce but also the person engaged in the project also the higher management in the following ways for example safety safety protects the workforce from physical suffering mental agony and loss of pay so these are the three important benefits of following the safety on the work site okay or we can say the project site first is that the physical suffering is being reduced or stopped second is that whatever the mental illness or mental frustration that people will get after receiving the uh, you know accident after effects and then the loss of pay because if the person is in the non permanent or he is on the contractual basis then he, there will be a chances of loss of payment loss of income for that person and his family also safety spares the management unfairly financial and legal implications of accidents and injuries at the workplace or the construction sites the huge compensations payable to the affected workers and their families loss of production and manpower both at the time after the accident also definitely it is going to lead to the loss of image Lo loss of image is like loss of their brand name for example a certain company is having some plants manufacturing plants and those manufacturing plants are being uh, having the various compliance issues about the safety then that company name will be blacklisted or there will be a, a person who is not going to purchase from that company again the company is going to reduce their business also they may say that we are not following safety we are uh saving the money on safety and giving you discount still also people are not going to buy from them i hope this point is clear to you just type yes in the chat box so that i can understand you are understanding the concept moving ahead with this why we need to consider the project manager's point of view for using the safety and how the implication of accidents of that particular project site first point was that that we are going to understand that first is immediately after the accident the work is going to stop it is not like that people will continue their working after the listening of the 
news about the accident so if a worker uh, listen to the story or we can say that particular uh, story from the fellow worker dek bhai wahan pe ek idhar to accident hua hai aur isko isko laga hai so something like that a communication happens so that person will immediately left whatever the work he was doing and he goes to the that particular accident location to see or try to you know uh, help someone maybe with this thought he go there ki hame aur kuch pata chalega accident ke bare mein but because of his action because of his action uh, they are feeling uh, just give me a moment okay so first thing is that stoppage of all the work immediately people will stop stop their work and they will start going to know more about that accident that is the first problem first implication then troubled atmosphere at the construction site yes people will be in the fear zone now and also everyone is in the hurry to get their work safely done delays in the project schedule definitely loss of discipline people will not uh, going to listen for extra work or something like that because of which they feel that the accident must have occurred so there are various reasons for accidents right i hope i am audible to you all just type yes in the chat box uh, so that i can know okay next is uh, there is a damage to the property and structure and a construction material whenever such accident happens thank you so these all damages are permanent in nature because whenever some a uh, company is constructing a property or a uh, offices or a factory because of the accident there is a damage to that particular permanent property then definitely there will be expenses related with the medical and hospitalization expenses of the worker and the people who are associated with that accident mostly the victims are the people who are suffered various losses like mental physical and the company is going to or the project manager is also liable for this uh, cost or the expenses then there are uh, certain government agencies which investigate such accidents and they also provide the penalties to the institute for example if that accident has lead to the mass uh, destruction or that accident lead to a damage or loss of people's life uh, among the in nearby vicinity so that particular penalty is to be levied on the organization by statutory institutions like government safety department or factories act uh, department like that so they are going to provide the penalties then there will be a legal charges now why legal charges are important because uh, whenever uh, any organization is not following the safety or if they are not following the uh, the described uh, rules and regulations then that particular person or that particular organization is going to have that legal charges sometimes uh, they are not having any idea of the legal implications but also there are variety of legal terms and terminology as a engineer you should know which is going to uh, you know implemented or useful in your Uh, project categories okay then there will be definitely a wastage of time loss of attention of the people and also there will be a separate department actually in some companies there is a separate department of a legal legal department so that legal department is going to uh, go to the court and uh, for the cases and uh, uh, what you can say they represent the company and the people who are associated with that so if someone found guilty in that that person has to be uh, not attending the uh, your workshop or your factory so they are going for a court proceeding so again there is a wastage of time and loss of attention attendance uh, of people okay then there will be a fear of retaliation subsequent by any punitive action for example uh, if uh, the hazard is so much big that uh, the government thought that we should not allow them to work in future so there will be a future ki a company pe taala laga do seal laga do something like that happen that is also a fear in their mind now then we have adverse campaigns by rivals uh, the the competitor companies will showcase these news 
कि देखो ये कंपनी में इतना एक्सीडेंट होता है तो आपको उनसे लेना चाहिए या आपसे लेना समथिंग लाइक दैट दे कुड डू सच एक्टिविटीज बिकॉज ऑफ विच देयर बिजनेस विल हेम्पर ओके देन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस देर आर वेरियस अदर इम्प्लीकेशन ऑफ द एक्सीडेंट्स बिकॉज इफ द पर्सन प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर इज नॉट फॉलोइंग दिस सेफ्टी प्रिकॉशंस द नेक्स्ट इमीजिएट इफेक्ट इज गोइंग टू हैपन इज ऑन द हेल्थ ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हेल्थ ऑफ द पीपल हु आर वर्किंग देयर सो Sometimes it is said as also that uh, if the employees are in good working condition, they are uh, having their uh, performance effective. Okay. So now, if if you want the effective performance of your employees, then you must take care of their health. Then health is not just about eating good food or uh, having a good uh, muscular body. It is not like that. It is about having the uh, say for example. the person should be in a position to complete his duty and task effectively in his healthy working condition so medical schemes have provisions for medical compensation and reimbursement for medical checkup treatments hospitalization etc so most of the big companies are uh, having their own medical setup for their uh, employees okay so then there will be a regular check up of the employees and uh, that regular check up is going to help to the various employees okay just give me a moment okay so now when the company is investing so much of uh, money and their importance on the health of the employees because before starting the work on any project the thorough medical examination took place uh, if the person has any medical problem medical emergencies related to that problem they are being identified and then uh, the healthy condition of the worker is being maintained apart from this safety and health they, there will be a uh, you know proper contract between the contractors and the vendors for uh, manpower so if there will be any uh, mishap happen the person who is responsible is being identified and discuss in the commencement of the work only for example before starting the work only they have decided ki agar kuch hota hai to ye ye cheez ka zimmedari kiska hai aur ye ye cheez ka zimmedari kiska hai aur iske according jo insurance plans wagaire rehte hain so these companies are having that uh, protection cover as well for the insurance similarly in the various variety of projects there will be a different sites okay in which you may not find the good water so unsafe uh, drinking water unhygienic waste uh, wash places lack of first aid inadequate uh, medical attention so these all are the different uh, aspects where uh, the people who are working they will be at risk so that's the reason why project manager should be knowing all these aspects about the health of the worker because only that manpower who is working there is responsible for the success of that particular project and if we take care of them definitely they will take care of our project so being a project manager you need to think in this way that health is one of the important parameters safety is one of the important parameters so that you can save your team and then they will work very much effectively so that your targets will also be achieved okay moving ahead with this environment and its component now it's not possible that whenever we are starting our project site earlier there was a environment because we are going to start a new project at that location but before that there must be a river there must be a forest there must be a open land there must be a trees there must be a we can say various animals there must be some animals who are staying below the ground so there are variety of things which we need to take care of when we talk about the environment because whenever we want to construct something whenever we want to have our project on the site we are basically changing all the things from there which was earlier there earlier there was a trees earlier there was a jungle earlier there was a river and now what we are doing wherever there is a river we will putting up the debris in that and then start construction so we are basically challenging we are basically uh, harassing the environment 
and that's the reason a project manager should be a person who is well known or he is uh, uh, having the what you can say empathy towards the environment he should know that what are the different activities which we are doing here are causing impact on the environment okay so that is the reason why we are going to look forward for this environments sometimes some projects which are engineering projects construction projects they are handling so much of mother earth and the construction is not possible without the environment tempering similarly the wood steel cement and other construction materials are also originating from the environment so if we are using them it means we are basically impacting on the environment uh, so also apart from not only from the materials perspective atmosphere excuse me a moment the atmosphere also uh, plays an important role uh, in the in, in terms of uh, having the impact on the environment because if the environment is being polluted by the smoke or by the dust it is going to hamper the animals or the birds or the uh, various uh, butterflies or something like that uh, creatures and they are being affected and they will be leaving that place so that's how there are various environmental uh, constraints that we need to follow sometimes uh, we are using the water which is available uh, nearby well or nearby canal and we use that water in such a large quantity that it is going to be vanished or it is going to be perished uh, soon after some years and that's the reason we should take care of environment and its components now yes eco system and ecological balance this ecosystem is various uh, blocks in it which are interdependent for example uh, solar energy received by the plants and that given to the that given to the next uh, step that is that plant uh, based uh, activities or whatever the solar energy conversion into oxygen and that photosynthesis this all happen in the plants and the next step that plant is being eaten by the humans animals birds like that then also these all ecosystem exist between the ecological balance so if we hamper any one thing the other layer is being affected now similarly when you talk about the environment this is another uh, big issue about the ozone layer depletion ozone layer is basically an uh, environmental protection uh, we can say shield against our earth and that ozone is being uh, hampered as a thinnest layer of atmospheric element and then it is actually saving our earth from the ultra violet ultraviolet rays harmful ultra ultraviolet radiation uh, from the sun so if it is being depletion all the time then the sun rays which we are receiving will be definitely from the uh, ozone layer depletion which with the uv radiation and that is going to hamper our skin our overall human race also and that is the reason a project manager should not use the materials in their projects which are going to hamper the environment in future okay moving ahead with this what is the next point about global warming that project manager should know now it is very relative term see i, I don't uh, have anything to share ki aap log kya soch rahe what you are you are guys are thinking because there are very few people who have joined actually so what you are thinking i really don't know but uh, imagine a project manager is uh, using the electricity for his project work and if he found that there are certain things by which he can uh, save the electricity he can uh, use some alternate source he can uh, try to use the demand side management something like that and then that particular person is basically contributing for reducing the global warming as soon as that there is a greenhouse gases emission is being controlled then we can say that that uh, global warming is being uh, less impacted by our project so something like that is possible so that a project manager should think of global warming and sustainability i ask you to read this for one or two minutes and i will be back within one or two minutes just give me a moment hello hello yeah okay this concept of sustainability is basically for 
a larger vision of the organization if the organization is associated with the plants uh, those who are manufacturing the equipment those who are manufacturing the uh, devices or the raw material for next uh, process industry there is a variety of things uh, which are interdependent for example uh, the important phenomena of processes like productivity ecological process biodiversity and this subject is having a very much importance because the natural resources are limited and processes are become unsustainable because of the um, our continuous demand on those natural resources and that's the reason we need to think about the environment and its protection okay and that's the reason we are going to innovate we have to uh, think of new variety of solutions so that we can have the sustainable growth of economic so if you talk about the economics i will give you a very small example um, if the economy is being run by the unsustainable causes there are chances that economy may collapse but if the methods by which it is being uh, working with a sustainable model then it is uh, sustainable means it is going for a longer time then let's see what are the different impact of construction and engineering projects on the environment so first of all when we are constructing any environmental uh, aspects uh, impact analysis of this project uh, so first project is going to remove whatever the ecological system was there we all agree with me just type yes in the chat box ki agar wahan pe koi pehle se zameen tha jahan pe pehle river ho sakta hai jungle ho sakta hai तो उसको पहले हमें हटाना पड़ेगा अगर हमें वहां पे कुछ कंस्ट्रक्ट करना है तो बराबर तो जैसे ही वो हम हटाएंगे वहां से उसको निकालेंगे तो उसका जो पूरा सिस्टम था नेचुरल सिस्टम उसको हमने सबसे पहले क्या किया है डिस्टर्ब कर दिया है उसके बाद जहां पर पहले बारिश का पानी जमीन के अंदर ऑटोमेटिकली जाता था सीपेज होता था तो वो वॉटर बॉडी का जो वॉटर टेबल है उसे इंक्रीज करता था बट अभी ऐसा कुछ नहीं है तो समझो सब जगह पे कंक्रीटाइजेशन कर दिया है तो देर आर चांसेस की वाटर टेबल इंक्रीज होना डिफिकल्ट है सो दीज आर द रीजन व्हाई वी शुड थिंक ऑफ दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड इंजीनियरिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट देन नेक्स्ट इज द ग्रीन हाउस गैस इफेक्ट तो ग्रीन हाउस गैस इफेक्ट ग्लोबल वार्मिंग दे आर लाइक कंट्रीब्यूटिंग फॉर परसेंटेज ऑफ सीओ2 एंड ग्रीन हाउस गैसेस इन द एटमॉस्फेयर व्हिच आर लीडिंग टू द एब्जॉर्प्शन ऑफ सोलर रेडिएशन इन द atmosphere atmosphere is also getting heated up before the solar energy reaches to the ground and that's the reason the greenhouse gases is basically increasing the temperature of the earth because the wind can take this uh, trapped energy uh, to the places where there is a colder environment okay and that's the reason uh, the influence from industries like pollution of the soil water these all things need to be taken care of also the products and by products of some industries are causing varieties of damage to the environment in the form of the effluents and emissions now effluents and emissions are the part and parcel of any process effluent means what say for example you are making a lemon juice to so, limbu sharbat jo limbu aap usko nichodte hai to limbu se bhi waste nikalta hi hai right agar wo limbu se nikla hua jo waste hai jaise uski seeds ho gaye uska bacha hua upar ka portion ho gaya to wo bhi ek prakar se waste hai right तो एवरी प्रोसेस इज गोइंग टू डेवलप सम अमाउंट ऑफ वेस्ट तो वो वेस्ट अगर हमने इमीजिएटली एनवायरमेंट में वापस एड कर दिया तो हमने क्या किया कि जो एक अच्छा मटेरियल था उसमें जो और अच्छा था वो हमने हमारे प्रोसेस के लिए यूज किया और उसके अंदर जो गंदा चीज था इफ्लुएंट था इमिशन था उसको हमने वापस नेचर में डाल दिया तो अगर ऐसा करते तो उन प्रोजेक्ट में इन्वायरमेंटल इम्पैक्ट काफी ज्यादा होता है और इसका वो बहुत ही Uh, एक uh, हम बोल सकते हैं एग्जाम्पल जो है वो है तुम्हारा कंटेमिनेटेड एयर पॉल्यूटेड वाटर और फिर उसके बाद जो होता है वो होता है सॉइल में uh, ये सब पोल्यूशन जाता है और जब सॉइल में जाता है तो विथ अवर फूड साइकिल वो फूड के थ्रू हमारे इंसानों के शरीर तक पहुंचता है तो इंसान कुछ भी करेगा या कोई भी कुछ भी करेगा ये जो कर्मा का साइकिल है ना वो कम्प्लीट होके रहता है तो इसके लिए कर्मा जो है वो अच्छा करते आगे बढ़ते हैं कंटेमिनेटेड एयर बताया पोल्यूटेड वाटर बताया ओके आगे बढ़ते अब पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल हर बार ये प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर को ध्यान में रखना है 
कि उसे सिर्फ प्रोजेक्ट टाइम पे कंप्लीट करना ये एक ही काम नहीं है उसका काम ये भी है कि उसे बहुत सारे लीगल कंप्लाइंसेस को फॉलो करना रहता है अगर कोई लीगल इंक्वायरी आता है तो उसको रिप्लाई देना पड़ता है उसको हैंडल करना पड़ता है और उसी प्रोसेस को जब वो फॉलो करने में कोई गलती करता है या वो प्रोसेस में कुछ गलती होती है तो समटाइम्स देर इज अ कंट्रोल बोर्ड दैट इज पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड एवरी स्टेट ऑफ द महाराष्ट्र एवरी स्टेट ऑफ द इंडिया इज हैविंग दिस पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड एंड द ड्यूटी ऑफ दिस पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड इज टू आइडेंटिफाई द वेराइटीज ऑफ पीपल पर्सन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दो आर कॉजिंग द पोल्यूशन Now let's understand the air pollution is nothing but a mixture of solid particles and gases in the air. Air needs to be purified at all the places. It should not be contaminated with any gas or any solid particle like dust. But as we see in India, there are variety and various quantities of dust we have uh, coming with the air. So air pollution plays very important role. It is not only affecting the person and his own personal health but it is also affecting the organization because that does that particular uh, you know contaminated air is going to lead to the uh, damage related with the it infrastructure sometimes it is a uh, carcinogenic so there are varieties of thing which is there about this air pollution and those air pollution aspects you need to taken care of so that there will be no any uh, we can say such uh, crucial elements of that particular plant moving ahead with this after the air there will be a water pollution water pollution is uh, basically related with the converting the drinkable water into non drinkable water if someone is doing that they are that person is polluting the water ek acha peene jaisa pani hai usko agar tum peene ke liye अच्छा नहीं ऐसा पानी अगर आप बनाते हो तो उससे आप क्या कहेंगे वाटर पोल्यूशन कहेंगे तो उसमें कलर का ऐड होना टर्बिडिटी ऐड होना टेस्ट उसका चेंज होना उसमें कोई डिजोल्व सॉलिड्स ऐड होना ये सारी चीजें अलोंग विद द ऑर्गेनिक एंड इनऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंस उसमें ऐड होना ये सारी चीजें जो है वो एक प्रकार से वॉटर का पोल्यूशन है मूविंग अहेड विद दिस की वो जो वॉटर है वो ये वाटर की खासियत है क्या कोई बता सकता है चैट बॉक्स में व्हाट इज द यूनिकनेस अबाउट द वाटर द वाटर इज अ समथिंग बेस्ट व्हाट इज दैट व्हाट इज दैट वर्ड जस्ट टाइप यस इन द नॉट यस आंसर इन द चैट बॉक्स यस वाटर इज अ बेस्ट सॉल्वेंट सो वाटर कैन डिसॉल्व एनीथिंग मोस्टली एनीथिंग व्हिच इज कमिंग इन कांटेक्ट विद इट सो एज़ सून एज़ द वाटर इज बीइंग डिसॉल्व विद दैट पर्टिकुलर मटेरियल water is getting contaminated water is polluted then we have soil pollution now when we call it soil pollution it is not always that we are adding some solid waste into the soil but the percolation of the water along with the various uh, we can say uh, materials or the elements which are non useful for the soil and the farming industry they are added into the soil and now the property of the soil is that the soil cannot change its place the pollutant will be remain there for years and years and that is the very what you can say that's very bad about it okay so moving ahead with this next is noise pollution yes very much important because in any project the people are going to use tools people are going to use various materials those materials are running on some energy source there will be some moving parts and there will be some friction and these all reasons are going to generate the large amount of noise sometimes it is not possible to ask someone to stop that noise or make that noise at other place it is completely non feasible it is insane so we need to think that what exactly this noise pollution is going to be uh, you know started as a problem what what we can do so we can uh, first see ki what is the effect of this noise so one is deafness loss of appetite fatigue some people feel that uh, after listening heavy sound as a noise they are feeling breathless so there are various uh, aspects about this pollution sometimes we think that uh, certain pollutions are visible and 
the the particular those for the pollutions are basically causing trouble it is not like that sometimes uh, the pollutions which are not so much visible they are also creating nuisance okay so this uh, this is the important aspect of our chapter number 8 so we discussed about the ecosystem of environment and then we discussed about the different types of pollutions now the pollutions is not only what we are looking for uh, because environment safety health these all are the aspects of our this will be a moment uh, is it uh, visible that uh, environment and its components okay you know to share this stuff. so there will be another presentation another pdf which is available there in the google classroom uh, i just uh, taken that uh, post on the top by firke madam so you need to visit uh, that tab and download that resources and read it the points which we have discussed are also in, included in this textbook format uh, safety health and environment what are the different aspects of safety we are looking for what are the challenges what are the uh, different uh, you know applications are there and then health which we have talked about environment its impact its components like atmosphere petrosphere biosphere like that then ecosystem and ecological balance ozone depletion so these all are going to give you an idea if we don't follow if we don't follow certain things about the environment about the safety about the sustainability then our organization will be ended up very miserably so instead of your organization uh, ended up miserably you need to think of having a project manager who will be taking care of the environmental aspects safety aspects and as well as the sustainability aspects also this is not going to uh you know saying that uh, being a project manager you should not look at the schedule at the people's uh, are working or not and you just focus on these three things it is not like that okay so you have to take care of safety along with your work along with your project you have to take care of the health of the employees who are working in your factory and you need to take care of the environment because whatever activities you do you are going to take from the environment you are going to give back to the environment but many people many organization are getting the good things from the environment and giving bad things to the environment and that's what the main problem is i hope you have understood this point uh, very much clearly uh, i will be sharing some of the questions as a question bank to all of you you just go solve them try to make sure that you will be getting a good concept identification and realization so you will be clearing this a complete uh, theory course okay so i think for today it is uh, completely fine that we are uh, stopping the today session and then we will be having the uh, any question and answer session if anyone want tomorrow we can meet also on google meet and you can ask me any questions you have about uh, the subject about the exam and we will be discussing those questions and uh, it will be an interactive session for tomorrow meanwhile go through these chapter notes the presentation and study properly for your exams so i think it's okay uh, wish you all the best we'll stop here now